back to a new lesson. I'm Neharika. Well, I have to share this uh, real funny story with you. Well, my dad recently bought a new smartphone. He was, of course, really excited about it. And uh, even I installed the new social applications for him so that he can be in touch with his friends and family. Well, he was pretty happy about it. But two days later, he calls me and says, Hey, Neharika, I am so lost. I just don't understand what you guys are texting. Well, of course, it's not just him. There are so many people who get really confused because they're not familiar with the SMS English. Well, there are so many abbreviations, acronyms and emoticons that are used by the younger generation these days. So, of course, many people really get confused. So, in this lesson, we're going to look at the most common ones that we use in today's texting world. And that's SMS English, right? Now, do remember that SMS in English does foster bad grammar and horrible spellings. So, you please don't use it officially. Like, do not use it in your business emails. Or if you're a student, please do not use it writing your test papers, okay? So this is just for texting and maybe for Facebook and Twitter, okay? Now here we have BRB. BRB means be right back. Now there are times when uh, you're writing and you just want to be fast and concise. You don't want to, you want to save your time and uh, not use a lot of space. So you quickly say BRB. This means I'll be right back, okay? Be right back, okay? And so this means that you're taking a break. If you're chatting to someone, you're taking a break and you'll be just back, okay? Then we have BTW. That's by the way. Okay, so there are many times uh, when we have to say, by the way, you can just write BTW, okay? Then we have BYOB. That's a very interesting one. You might have seen when people invite you for parties, especially if you're friends, you're like just having a get together. And at the end, they would say BYOB. This means bring your own booze or bring your own bottle. Okay, so next time you get an invite, and if this is at the bottom of the text, well, you would know that this means that you have to take your own bottle for the party. Okay, then we have LOL. This is like the most common one. It means laugh off loud or laughing off loud. Well, it is so common that, you know, I was amazed there's a 17 year old cousin of mine uh, who just not uses LOL for communicating or for texting, but he also uses it face to face. Well, I was telling, you know, my, I was telling a joke to my family and then he's like, lol. And I was like, what are you doing? Well, lol. So it basically expresses your bodily um, expressions. Okay. Then we have R-O-F-L, this means you're expressing uh, that you're extremely uh, amused with something, okay, and uh, you just can't stop laughing. So it means that rolling off the floor laughing. So it means that you found this thing so funny that you are ROFL. So this means you're rolling off the floor laughing, okay? Then we have TGIF. This is my favorite. It means, thank God it's Friday. Well, we always wait for the weekends after such a long week, working hard. So the moment Friday arrives, you would see many people would say, oh, TGIF. We also have a chain of restaurants all over the world. That's TGIF. So basically it means, thank God it's Friday. Alright, then we have HB2U. 
This is uh, really interesting. Well, of course, when you're wishing someone, uh, you can write happy birthday to you. Well, it's short, sweet, and simple, isn't it? So it means you are wishing happy birthday. All right, then we have SOB. SOB means you are stressed out bad okay so this means you're extremely stressed and uh, you're expressing that oh my god i am so tense and so stressed so this is what you can text okay then we have gr8 that means great okay it is kind of an exclamation oh that's great so you can write gr8 okay then this is also the most common one that's used ttyl which means talk to you later so the moment you say bye and you know you would see if someone has texted you saying ttyl so this means that he will talk to you later All right, and then we have Z. So this means it's an expression of um, expressing that you are asleep. You are so sleepy or you're already sleeping, okay? So if someone writes to you, all right, talk to you later, good night, and then this, that means that he is sleeping now. All right, and then we have IDK. This is also commonly used by many people, which means, I don't know, someone would ask you, you ask someone a question and they'll be like, IDK, so which means, I don't know. Right? And then we have CIAO, which is also pronounced as chow. Okay, it means goodbye. Okay, uh, so basically you're wishing bye to someone and it's usually used by Italians. It's basically an Italian word, okay? It's an Italian expression to say goodbye. But it's commonly used when you are texting someone, okay? Or it is a very common internet slang too, but it basically is an Italian word, okay? Now let's have a look at some more abbreviations and acronyms. So the next one that we have is to NYT, which means tonight. Many people also write it as, okay, which means tonight. So someone texting you that, all right, tonight I'm going to see you. So they can use this abbreviation, okay. Then we have LMAO. This is a real funny one. This also means Laughing my ass off, this means you found something so funny and you're so amused, it's like super hilarious and that's why you just can't stop laughing. So it's just an expression that shows that you are, you just can't control laughing. So basically you are laughing your ass off, okay? Okay, so it's they are definitely used by many youngsters these days, but I would say please do avoid it, okay? Then we have M8, which means mate. You know, so many guys would say, hey mate, how are you? What's up? So this means M8, don't be confused. What is he trying to say? It means that he's saying, hey mate, okay? Then we have NE1, which means anyone. I'm sure if you are a reader who's not familiar with this language, but if you read this, maybe with the way you pronounce it, you will get it right, isn't it? So it means anyone. Then we have EOD. EOD is when someone is maybe chatting and having an argument over something and someone writes EOD. So it means end of debate or end of discussion.
usually when these boyfriends and the girlfriends are maybe having an argument and the boyfriend writes okay that's it EOD so it basically means end of debate okay end of discussion period right then we have COS or CUZ which means cause so it's basically a short form for because it's very commonly used Okay, almost in every sentence, whenever you're trying to use because, you would always see people writing cause. In fact, it's not just while writing, even people communicating, they kind of use these short terms. They do not say, oh, because I went there, they would just end up saying cause, I was there, you know. Then we have N2S. This means needless to say. All right, this is also one of the most common acronym that I have read. Okay, needless to say. Then I have the last one over here, which is C-U-L, number eight, and R. Well, guess what it means? It means, see you later. Right? So, if you are texting and you're going to say, all right, let's catch up or I'm gonna say bye, so this means you can also use this acronym that is C-U-L, number eight, and R. So it's see, see you later, okay? So I hope this lesson is helpful to you. So next time you are texting or you receive any texts and with these acronyms and abbreviations, you know what exactly it means. I'm gonna make sure my dad also watches this video so that he gets comfortable texting his friends and family, isn't it? And if you know any of more abbreviations and acronyms, please do comment. Please do let me know so that I can learn things from you too. Isn't it? Alright, so I'll see you soon in the next lesson. Till then, you take care and have a great day.